A booster shot could be available within weeks for people who've already received two doses of a COVID vaccine from Pfizer or Moderna. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Helen Boucher, the interim dean of Tufts Medical School and an infectious disease specialist at Tufts Medical Center. Dr. Boucher, great to see you. Great to see you. All right, we've been talking about these third doses for months now. Now that we are hearing within the next few days, federal health officials will finally recommend them to people who've been fully vaccinated for more than eight months. So why is that the magic number eight months? What happens at that point? Is it believed? So Ben, there's been some data from Israel and now from the Mayo Clinic suggesting decreased protection against infection after about six months. Importantly, though, there has not been a sign of decreased protection against getting very sick or death. So based on those data, we understand, we haven't heard officially, that the FDA may authorize boosters for certain individuals as soon as next month. Mm, okay, well, Dr. Boucher, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've been vaccinated longer than eight months. Do you have any concerns you might not have full protection right now from the virus? No, I don't. The data that we've seen is very robust now, and millions of people who've been vaccinated with all three of the available vaccines, that's the Pfizer, Moderna, and J&J, all have greater than 90% protection against getting sick enough to come to the hospital or even worse, dying. That's what these vaccines were designed to do, and we have evidence that they're doing that even against the Delta variant. So we're getting a lot of emails today hearing from a fair number of viewers, most of them frustrated that they have not heard anything nothing at all about a booster shot for the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. We know hundreds of thousands of people here in Massachusetts received that vaccine, 13 million across the country. When are we going to know if they're going to need one? Well, the FDA tells us that they didn't have enough data in the CDC to make a recommendation last week when they gave us the recommendation for the third dose in our immunocompromised patients, but they promised that they would have more data soon. And I think you'll see recommendations for our patients who receive J&J &J relatively soon. Yeah, specifically, some viewers have asked about switching to a different type of vaccine. Mary, for example, writing, I am immunocompromised. Can I get a non J&J &J booster? Yeah, it's a great question. And so far, the recommendations that we have are to follow like with like. So if you received Pfizer, that you would get the third dose if you're immunocompromised with Pfizer. There are studies ongoing to look at both the safety and effectiveness of mixing vaccines. And I hope we'll see data on that very soon. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Boucher. Dr. Boucher, among a team of doctors answering your questions every afternoon right here on New Center 5. So just email us at ask at wcvb.com. Tell us what you want to know. Tune in every afternoon starting at 4 o'clock for the answers. Thank you, Dr. Boucher.